back to our regular scheduled program. Today we're going to be talking about my camera settings. Cue that intro. So as you can see, we're back in my usual studio setup. And by studio, I mean my kitchen come living room come office space, which I share with my housemates. And they very kindly put up with all my camera gear and my recording here in the middle of the sitting room slash kitchen slash office. <laughs> we're back in my usual setup. The last few videos that I've put up on my YouTube to kick off 2019 have been kind of fun cinematic videos. And I hope you guys have enjoyed those. They are the style of video as I'd like to do more of this year so if you haven't subscribed already do it now quickly so you can keep posted on all those kind of videos my main go-to videos are these little talking to camera head pieces which you might see more regularly than the other types of videos so I hope what I do in these videos are helpful to you and I hope I have better English skills in the future kind of rusty talking to the camera so I apologize in advance but there have actually been quite a good few subscribers the last few weeks which is super super exciting so if you're new to this channel I kind of do tutorials vlogs and cinematic videos some of which you've seen already and in my tutorial videos I tend to cover videography and photography so I hope these are helpful and fun to watch and today's video I hope is gonna be kind of a quick one maybe kind of hopefully not really mmm I keep talking so that's making it longer sorry today's video is about my camera settings and my particular camera is my Canon 80D. These settings can be put across, I could say most DSLR, especially Canon anyway. I'm not too familiar with Sony or Nikon or anything like that, but definitely Canon DSLRs that don't have the likes of CineStyle or S-Log or C-Log, D-Log, all the logs. These camera people love logs. Save the trees. So what all those logs allow your camera to do is use a flatter color profile, which has more dynamic range and has more flexibility in post-production. It allows you to, like when you take a raw photo, it just allows you to do a little bit more without reducing the quality of the image. Now, with the 80D and some lower end DSLRs and middling kind of DSLRs similar to the 80D, they don't have the likes, like I said, of C-Log or S-Log or D-Log or any of those, or Cine Style, even though I think you can get Cine Style. I've tried, it's not working for me. But these are my go-to settings to kind of allow that flatter profile, so it allows me a little Little bit more dynamic range when I'm shooting videos and just allows a little bit more flexibility in post-production. So I'm gonna go through my settings really quick to get this flatter profile. Let's jump into it. So here we are with my ADD and there are gonna be two things that we're gonna change. We're gonna change the picture profile and the video system. So the reason we changed the picture profile is to try and create a flatter image to allow for more dynamic range. And the reason we changed the video system is you might find when you get your ADD that you're on PAL. And PAL is fine because PAL is what we use here in Ireland, but you'll also find that if you have it in the PAL settings, you mightn't have as many frames to work with. So if you like to do a little bit of slow motion you won't have 60 frames per second to work with so to try and get the 60 frames per second within the ADD you actually need to change your video system settings from PAL to NTSC that doesn't affect you playing videos here it just allows for the more frame rates within the camera it's just kind of a cheat I suppose so to change those two settings that I mentioned we need to go to the menu and that is access via this menu button here on the top left. So if you click that, we're already in the menu system that we need to be in, but in case you're like over here or anything, just go over to the far left until you're in the kind of red menu that has the little camera. The other menus are color coordinated, this blue and yellow. So go over as far until you're in the red and then go over to the third item in that menu and picture style neutral. So mine's already in neutral, but you might have yours in standard or portrait or landscape or something like that. But what you need to do is go down to neutral and go to detail set. So these are where you need to change the settings to get that flatter image. In strength, sharpness, you need to go down to zero. My settings are already in here, so just copy mine. Go to contrast and go over to the left by two stops. In saturation, you're bringing over your saturation down by one, two, three, four stops to the very end. And the color tone, you stay in the middle. So after you have those settings done, go back to your menu 
and click OK. And now your picture style should be a flatter image within your video and photo. So if you look, if you take photos and see that your image is flatter, don't worry about it. You'll be able to play around in Lightroom or Photoshop. But this will allow you a flatter video image when you're taking videos and allow for a little bit more dynamic range. So the second thing we need to change, if you want to have those extra frames per second, and you'll see here, if I go into this and go over to number four, the movie recording quality, at the moment I have it at MP4 instead of MOV. If I have it at MOV and scroll down, I only have two selections to choose from in my frames per second and that's 2.9, 9.7 and 23. So that just isn't enough because I kind of like to do a little bit of slow motion. So if I go to MP4, you'll see that I have a much larger range to choose from. There's 60 frames in there, 23, 29. The only way I can have those is by changing it to NTC. So if you go over as far as wrench I suppose it is and go to video system and change it from PAL to NTC. I'm going to show you just if you have it in PAL and you go back to that menu you'll see that it only goes up to 50 frames per second. So I'm going to go back to that wrench, change it back to NTC and then go to my movie recording quality, change that back to MP4 and then you have your selection. At the moment, I'll just keep it at 29, but I'll change it depending on what I'm recording. So those are the two things that you can change. It's the picture style and the video system. So there you have it guys, those are my settings for my Canon 80D. As I said, a lot of those settings can transfer across to other DSLRs similar to the 80D, maybe some lower end Canon DSLRs or middling range similar to the 80D, just to get that flatter color profile to allow you a little bit more flexibility in post. It won't be the same sort of flexibility as the like of the D-Log and S-Log and all that jazz, but it should allow you a little bit more flexibility uh, when color grading and stuff like that. So yeah, those are my settings. I hope you liked today's video. If you haven't already, subscribe, give the video a like, comment any questions you may have about my settings, or if you have any video ideas that you think you'd like me to cover. But that's it for today's videos. Like I said, subscribe, like, hit that bell notification actually, so that you are notified when I do upload new videos. And so far, I am trying to upload a video once a week, every Sunday, either between 6 p.m. and 8 p.m. GMT time. So with that being said, toodles. As I said, don't say As I said guys, those settings can probably be put across probably be put across probably be put across. Jesus. Probably